Hello everyone. So today I'm going to explain like how we are going to upload and download the uh, file using SPMV3 and the REST APIs. So for uploading and uh, downloading actually basically there are two approaches. So this is these things already I discuss uh, in one of my videos. So like uh, the approach is first one is the storing data into a database and then fetch from uh, the data from the database and the second approach is to like storing the data into the file system and uh, store the path into the database so these two approaches so this approach is the first approach already i like uh, explained how we are going to do that in the second approach we are going to in this tutorial okay so how we are going to store the data any files actually into the file system and we are like saving the path like in which path we are going to save this particular file so that path we are going to store into the database okay so let's uh, means uh, already like uh, means uh, created the project for this one and next like we'll check uh, integrate this one integrate this approach into the existing program so let's create uh, uh, means this approach into the existing program okay so for uh, as you can see over here so in what of my tutorial already like explain like how we are going to store the data into the database and uh, accordingly we will you know, face the data from the database so that uh, kind of structure already created in this same program i'm going to add this to another two approaches like how we are going to save this file instead of the database we are going to save this file into the file system and from the file system we are going to display those images right so let's create we need to create for that we need to we are going to create two controller which will basically save data into the file system and another is responsible for fetching the data from the file system right okay so we can say like we need to create another controller for this one api you can say not controller actually so the name it would be like uh, we can give it anything like upload file into file system for example okay and it will be a post mapping similar to this one okay and instead of that we can name it as okay upload files into file system next like uh, in the service layer actually we need to write those methods okay so previously we are having two methods which basically store data into the like database but now we are going to save data into the files so we need to create the store data into file system okay same input we will get for this one also and then like uh, we need to uh, like create the uh, like all the things like name type image data with that also like what we are going to say we need to save the path so here actually basically we need to save the path means we need to create another column so that it will be automatically create this entity into the database and accordingly we can store the path okay so here we need to set path okay so from where we will get the path actually we need to uh, like uh, uh, we need to uh, give one path over here so whatever the so like something like uh, this is the file path actually that when uh, where actually i am going to store all this information okay so this is the path actually that here actually i'm going to store this one and for the upload uh, from here actually i'm going to upload so for storing uh, means uh, after uploading it will be stored in this path so this path we have given in this section okay so here we have given the path now this path actually we need to assign over here okay so how we are going to do that like uh, so what will be the file path equal to file path plus so from using this input file 
will get the original file name okay now this file path actually we are going to store over here so that it will save the data okay syntax okay content type file path syntax error on token delete this file okay okay let me check this one but meantime like uh, once we have set the path over here then we can save this one using this file repository because the, in this repository we have like using this repository we are going to save the data into the database because as we are going to use this uh, spring data jpa see if this id is done then we, are, we can say like this upload is successfully done similar fashion if we are going to phase the data from the database so we can use this get files right so using this um, here actually we need to like uh, write uh, uh, like different kind of logic because as we are going to uh, phase the data from the like uh, means we are going to face the path from this uh, database and then accordingly we need to search this file into our local folder file explorer right it means uh, then from there we will get those information okay so for getting the files actually we need to create another method actually get or maybe we can say download image or download files from file system okay what we'll take we'll take just input as a file name okay a string file name so next we will uh, use this one because we need to first face the like uh, get path from over here it will return as a path a string path equal to something this and then after that uh, so there is actually in the then actually neo actually this files actually we are going to use basically from here we are going to there is a one read all bytes and here actually you can see it's actually taking the path so we are having the path so based on the path we are going to return as the byte code so we need to use this method and here actually we need to pass the path so how we are going to pass this so new file okay so we are going to as if uh, like uh, not files we are going to use the file and here actually we are going to provide the path name okay and then to path so what it will do and then after that actually it will basically return the byte array okay okay so what we have done over here it is throws exception okay so first whatever the data we have saved into the database so based on the file name we have getting the path okay then based on the path so this new files actually it's a provide one method which will basically return us all the byte code from the database uh, sorry from the file path so here actually in the constructor we need to provide the path how we are going to provide the path using the file and then we are need to pass the path over here then accordingly it will return us the byte code 
okay so this is overall the things for this uh, storing the data into the file system and get the data from the file system mm, file system now in the controller over here we are going to call this method like uh, store data into file system here actually we are going to pass this one and we need to return from over here so how we are going to return from here same like this and it will be like a request param okay so it will be a response okay and return type is a response entity of a string and it will be throw some io exception so next method will be a get okay and uh, we are going to change the name like get files from the file system and we can say like uh, download image from the file system okay so endpoint is also done now and service layer also done in the entity we have added this new path okay so these are done now let's start this program first let's run this so as you can see we are going to store the path images over here okay it started now okay so this endpoint we are going to hit so here actually we have already like attached the image how we are going to attach the as a request from we are going to pass this one so instead of the text we are going to choose the file okay and then here we are passing the image so if we send this one let's check the image uh, api name upload file into the file system upload file into the upload files into the file system okay looks okay now if we are going to pass this one file uploaded successfully into database now okay let's check the database this is the that is fine should be over here let me check this is the file path Okay. We are only just saving the data into the like uh, database, but uh, we need to write the code for uh, storing the data into the file path, right? So that portion is pending. So uh, let me write this one. Okay. So once we are like save the data into over here, then next uh, we need to file dot here is one transfer to and here we need to provide the destination okay so destination is a path and here actually we are going to pass this path like new file and here we need to pass this file path like where we are going to save this one okay so using this we can like easily save the data into the file system it started it started again okay 
so we need to reconnect again over here as you can see it will be a empty now we need to try to run this one again file uploaded successfully now if we check over here yeah, yeah, yeah. you can see so now the uploaded now this file uploaded is done successfully if we check the database so from here also you can see this is the path and here also it's saving the image data and all the things so this is done now right means we are able to successfully into the file system now if we try to get the data okay so for that we are having this uh, apis and we are passing this image name okay so if we run this one okay you can see it is also fetching the data from the data uh, file system how it is working like uh, it is get the path over here and then read all the bytes from the file path so that's all about like how we are going to store data into the file system and also fetch the data from the file system if you guys have anything please do let me know in the comment section thanks for watching bye bye